Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and we have with us uh, Flight Lieutenant James Turner, Royal Air Force Red Arrows team. James, welcome to our program, Hello Kuwait, and welcome to the state of Kuwait. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's my first time here, but as a team, um, we've been here sort of four times since 2013, so it's really nice to be back. Well, it's nice to have you and the team right here in the state of Kuwait, and maybe you could give a brief to our audience a little bit about the Red Arrows team, what you're all about when you were established. A little background, please. Okay, um, so we were started in um, the mid-1960s and we flew the um, an old, older aircraft than we fly at the moment. Um, it's the uh, Follon Nat and we flew that for about 25 years and then in 1980 we started flying the aircraft that we fly today which is the BAE Hawk. And this is our 58th season so um, we get to fly around all the, the world. We fly in the UK, we fly around Europe and it's really nice to come out into the Middle East as well. And so nice to have you back right here in the state of Kuwait, James. So tell us uh, about the Red Arrows in Kuwait. Tell us what's taking place, please. So I think um, the British government and the British military have always had a really good relationship with Kuwait for over 120 years now. Um, so it's really nice to come out here and display in front of this amazing city and also hopefully inspire the younger generations. So we do some STEM events as well. So hopefully get science, technology, engineering and maths and really sort of inspire the new generation and uh, get them coming over and taking my role in a few years' time. Well, good to hear that. <laughs> and uh, maybe tell us now a little bit about uh, the display in Kuwait Bay today. Tell us how that went and how things were. We were talking before we came on air, very clear skies, good conditions and everything, so tell us more. I'd like to say it's just the same as it is back in the UK, but <laughs> okay. uh, we're very jealous of your beautiful blue skies yeah. and the lovely sea as well. So um, coming out here, it's awesome. We get to um, do our full looping show, which uses up to about 7,000 feet um, of airspace. And we also had a great backdrop as well. So some of the amazing, iconic city and the uh, iconic buildings you've got again today. So it was awesome. It was a really nice, um, calm wind, very nice conditions, just enough chop on the sea, so we have some, we can get some depth perception, which is really important. Um, and it's pretty much a perfect display, so it's, it's really nice to be here. Tell us a little bit more about the, t uh, the display that took place today at the Kuwait Bay. Give us some more details, please. Okay. Um, so we um, got airborne uh, at the International Airport here, mm -hmm. and then we started displaying it pretty much exactly quarter to four this afternoon. Okay. And then we f come from behind the crowds, so we come over the city, descending down, nice. and then pulling up into a big loop. And we go from our largest formation into one of our tightest formations to really okay. emphasize the climbing up as we're going up. And then we split the whole display into, about in two halves. So it's about 22 minutes long, but the first half is where the whole formation are together, and then the second half is we split it into two to make it more dynamic maneuvers. So hopefully the, uh, the public and all the hundreds of thousands of people along the beach get a, a really good show of us flying. Yeah, I know a lot of people enjoyed the show <laughs> this afternoon. I mean, you should be commended, you and the team. Everyone well, did a great you. job, and thank you for that. And uh, James, you're also, you are the red seven in the formation. Explain to our audience, what does that mean, please? Well, we number all the, the pilots because we keep it nice and simple for us. Uh -huh. um, but we, the idea is a red six and seven are the synchro pair. So in the second half, we split apart from the rest of the formation, and then we do the, uh, the passes when we're going in front of the crowd, okay, right wow. in the datum, and then we try and make it look like we're in the same piece of sky at the same point. So hopefully we get people there, uh, shock and awe as we fly past us. We get the nice mm. colors coming through, make it look like we're just missing ourselves. And we're also very lucky that six and seven get to do the heart. So hopefully we get a beautiful heart in the sky. Um, That's nice. Of our, uh, trade very beautiful. Believers. Thank you. Very beautiful. And uh, So tell us now, the Red Arrows, what else have you done right here in the state of Kuwait? So we're only here for about three nights, uh -huh. um, but we're trying to fill our time as much as possible. So we did a really good STEM event earlier. So again, we're talking about um, science, technology, engineering, and maths. And I think it's really important to try and inspire the younger generation. And um, we're speaking to them about the roles that we do at the moment, not just the pilots, but also the engineers and the doctors and the physios and every, all the support staff we have to allow us to display around the world. And it's really great to try and hopefully get the younger generation, the children, to be inspired, look at what they can do, get motivated, keep yeah. working at school, and then, and then keep going forward. So um, it's really good. And they're always the ones that ask the best questions, I think. Uh, it's That's true. Brilliant. They're very eager to learn and learn more about this. So tell us, you have some activities planned then in the next few days with them? So we're going to carry on doing a little bit more over the next uh, sort of 24 hours. Uh -huh. um, so we do the STEM this morning. Uh, at the airport and then we've got a little bit more coming up as well and then tomorrow as well we've got a busy day so we should be flying alongside um, the Kuwait Airlines uh, 777 so hopefully around the city as well so we should get some really nice shots both in the aircraft and Great. also up. Uh, we look forward well. to that so that'll be sometime maybe tomorrow afternoon also? Uh, it's actually in the morning so 11 o'clock so 11 o'clock roughly is when we're going to be um, taking off okay. and then we'll be flying around the uh, east 
north and then dash down to the west as well. So okay. it, it should be really awesome so we get some really good shots because the iconic skyscape. Sky so tell us now, James, you must do a lot of training and practice as a team, correct, to get these things accurate and done correctly? Absolutely. So I joined the Royal Air Force in 2006 as a pilot, and since then I've been gaining the hours. But um, I joined, I was an um, uh, operational uh, pilot in the Air Force, um, but to get to the stage to join the Red Arrows, you have to have around about sort of 14 to 15 years experience, at least one and a half thousand hours, and rated at above average as well. And then once you get uh, accepted into the team, then you go and do the training. And so the winter months with the UK, we spent all the time training, and then the summer months is when we display. So that's when we display in the summer months, and then at the end of the summer, we often get away to come on our tour. So this is why we're in the Middle East at the moment. For yeah, and you have a busy schedule. I think you're going to be going down to the Gulf, Bahrain, and maybe Saudi Arabia and other countries also. Yeah, that's exactly correct. So um, we've been to Bahrain, which we've used as a hub when we're out here. Uh -huh. I've been to Qatar, we're here. We've down to um, uh, UAE as well. And then we're going via Saudi Arabia and then Egypt before getting home early December. So Well, it's really a pleasure and a treat. <laughs> to have you, the Red Arrows team, right here in the state of Kuwait. And uh, uh, thank you for taking some time from the busy schedule to be with us this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Do you have any last words or comments for the audience tuning in tonight? I would like to say thank you very much. Everyone's been incredibly friendly here. It's my first time, as I said earlier, but it's, I definitely want to come back again. And I think as a team, we will definitely be returning soon. Well, it's a pleasure to have you once again right here in the state of Kuwait, and we hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you, James. Thank you very much. We'd like to thank our guest, uh, Flight Lieutenant James Turner, Royal Air Force at Red Arrows team, uh, for their time with us this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Right now, we're going to move on to our next report. As I did say, the camera crew have been very busy. A lot is going on right here in the state of Kuwait. We're going to take a look at the Classic Cars event, so stay tuned for this.